Now I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the Respondus Lockdown Browser. The Lockdown Browser is going to be used when you're taking quizzes or exams online through Canvas. Let's go look at the information for Lockdown Browser. In your orientation, there is a section called Academic Technology. In the Academic Technology section, you'll find a, a, a section called Respondus Lockdown Browser. Let's click on that. So Respondus Lockdown Browser is a tool that you will be using when you take your quizzes or exams in Canvas. It will actually prevent you from navigating or using any other tools, recording a screen, printing, screenshotting, or anything else while you are taking your exam. In this section is the location for your instructions. There's a video as an overview for the Respondus Lockdown Browser. And there is a link for downloading the Respondus tool. You should take a minute to click on that link and download the Lockdown Browser. If you are using an iPad, then you will need to go to the App Store on the iPad, and you will need to download Respondus Lockdown Browser for the iPad. If you are using a Mac or a Windows-based device, then you can use this link, which is appropriate for Center for Allied Health Education. Okay. When you are going to be using Lockdown Browser, there is two ways to start the Lockdown Browser. First, on your desktop, if you're using a Windows or a Mac, then you're going to find an icon called Lockdown Browser. You can start that tool, and the system will log in and begin to show you different messages. This message shows that you have different programs open that must be closed prior to using Lockdown Browser. Simply use the Close Process button in order to close everything associated with it. Once you're done with that, the system will then allow you to log in to Canvas and take your exam. How do I know whether I need to use Lockdown Browser or not? Well, that's pretty simple. Let's go back to our main screen. And we're actually going to go to a course that I call Canvas Orientation Video. And on the system, you'll see that under my exams, I have one exam listed, which says that I need Lockdown Browser and Monitor. Now, Monitor is a part of Lockdown Browser, which records a video of you on the entire system. You must have your camera available at all times, and there are very strict instructions for using your camera and Lockdown Browser. When you log into the program, you're going to have an option that says Take the Quiz. When you click on Take the Quiz, the system will remind you that you need to run Lockdown Browser. So as we mentioned, uh, Lockdown Browser is going to ask to close a bunch of processes in order to make sure that there are no applications running that shouldn't be running during your exam. So you're going to make sure that you're going to click on Close Process or Close Application. And then the system is going to allow you to log back into Canvas. So you're going to enter your email address in Canvas. Then you're going to put in your password. And then you're going to click on Log In. And this will rerun Canvas and take you back to the beginning of the Canvas program so that you'll log into the course that you're going to be taking your exam and then you're going to be allowed to actually take the exam. Remember that you will not be allowed to go to a browser to screenshot anything or to do anything else except for taking your exam. So again click on the course that you're taking then you're going to click on the uh, exam that you're going to be doing And once you're in your exam, um, you're going to be allowed to take your exam and begin the process. Now, if there is a um, 
monitor attached to this. When you click on Take Quiz, you're going to walk through a whole set of setups and rules and regulations for Lockdown Browser and Monitor. You're going to click on Agree. The system is going to do a network check and make sure your bandwidth is good. Then you're going to continue to the exam. The webcam is going to kick in, and the webcam is going to ask you a whole bunch of questions. You're going to re record a five-second video. That five-second video is to make sure that your audio is working well. After you record your video, it's going to prepare it. It's going to ask you to play it back, and you can play it back and listen to it. Then you can click on continue after you uh, verify the video. Then you're going to have additional instructions. It's going to tell you how to take your exam and how to make sure that there are no uh, chances that you're going to be um, have any uh, problems that you took the exam and there were situations what you, of things you shouldn't be doing. You're going to take a picture. You're going to verify your picture. You're going to click on continue. You're going to show your ID. You need a government or uh, CHE issued ID. Hold it up there. Make sure that you're going to have a camera free, a hand free to take your picture. You're going to see the picture on your screen. Make sure it's visible so that we could see it. You're going to start a recording of your environment check. Take your camera. Run it around the room. We need to see a 360 degree view of everything going on in your room to make sure that you have no material that should not be on your desk or in front of you or next to you, beside you, on the floor, etc. We need to see that entire view. Your exam may be invalidated if you do not complete the environment check the way we want. Click on stop recording after you do your environment check. Click on continue. You're going to do a facial detection to make sure the camera sees you. Get a green thumbs up, and now you can begin your exam. Your questions are going to come up on your exam. You're going to answer your questions. And once you complete your exam, you can click on the Submit Exam button. It's going to ask you if everything went okay, if there were any issues or anything. And once you do that, you just click on Submit, and you are completely done in your quiz. Should you have any problems from on an IT perspective while you are in our program, uh, there are several different ways to contact the help desk. The best way to do it is to submit a service ticket. To do that, if you are in Canvas, you can go to the Canvas help screen. And at the top, when you click on Canvas help, the first area on the top, right underneath the panda, is open a ticket with the CA. HE IT support desk. When you do that and you click on that, it's going to take you to the support desk, the service desk support center. The first time you're going to do this, you need to create an account. To do that, click on the button that says create an account, put in your name. So I'm going to be CAG student and put in your email address. and create an account. Once you create your account, you're going to go back to the login screen. Go to your email. You're going to see a new email that comes to you that says Service Desk Support. Thank you for creating it. Click on the link at the bottom to activate your service thing. You're going to choose a password. You're going to verify your password. And you're going to create your account.
Of course, try not to make a mistake when you enter your password. You can choose again to save your account or not. And here, if you need to create a new incident, click on Create One. Tell us what's wrong. Help with Canvas. Put in a little bit description. I do not see my course listed. Description of the problem. Error connecting to online class, for example. What program you're in. What kind of device do you have? What browser are you using? And the other questions are, one is how many people does this affect? I would always pick the default, which is single person. How urgent is it? Let's say it's very urgent because I can't get into class. And I'm going to save the information. This now submits a ticket to the help desk. Very important that what you should do is add a comment and put in your name and your phone number, or your contact number, so that we can reach you right away. So I'm going to put in my name. And I'm going to... I'm going to put in my name. Then I'm going to put in my phone number. And I'm going to save that as well. And now, when the IT staff takes a look at this ticket, we will be able to contact you right away with the information so that we are able to help you out in an expedited manner.